Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the continuation of the software data logger as part 2. Here we can see how to connect between the data logger and PCs and also we can monitor and diagnostics and see the real values in the data logger. Before connecting the data logger, make sure that you power on the data logger and the LED in the data logger is blinking and after that uh, double click the connect button on the right side of the uh, corner and it will open one pop-up called connection to the data logger and here you have connection for access port and also you, you can see that via connection through bluetooth and if you make expansion you can see a lot of options diagnostic update software and update option like that double click the diagnostic option and it will open this page called configuration update here it will search the data logger if it's available or not okay. and if it is uh, available then you can see in the di devices of the selected type if it is differ it will show you different uh, devices of a different type just wait for few seconds beca because sometimes it will take some time And again, sometimes if it's not fine, again check the connection between the data logger and your Bluetooth device. If it is okay, then again try. And you can, it will search for, see now it's find the device. So this is your device and just select the device and give okay. And it will open the page called configuration update. Here if you see, the, these two devices have a different configuration. From the computer, you have configuration version 6.31 and it's updated on 1 1 2024. And in the data logger, you have different configuration and the version is also different 6.20. So the date also it is different. So you need to be updated from the PC to data logger. Before you are going doing this one, better my suggestion take the backup from the data logger. And because sometimes the access code or something is different or maybe you don't have the backup, better you can first take the backup from data logger to the PC. Okay. Uh, after you give OK, then it will take the backup immediately. Then uh, you can see the backup, maybe if you have something conflicts or not. Otherwise, uh, again, go to your configuration update and search the data, data logger and once you once you once it's come to the configuration update and download your application Okay, after you get uh, you download the application you can go to inside the tab and you can find all the current values example we already have the four DAs and you can see the first one it's configured as a pulse so you can see some pulse value and in the analog you, you already configured for analog one and analog two okay for the first one already there is value it's coming that's four milliamps and for the AI2 Currently, it's not connected, so you did. You can see that there is no values. It's like showing that sensor fault. And in the installation, you can see this page. And the downside, you see the reception level. If you click, you can see what exactly you connected. Like example, if you have SIM card, it's connected. You can see the signals. And if you go for data point, you can see all the parameter. It's configured in your data logger. Example, data point zero zero one. It's DA and everything and uh, now just I am monitoring uh, the analog signal see currently it's having 4 milliamps now we are planning to increase the milliamps see now it's becoming 8 milliamps so you have 8 milliamps and the value is 21 okay 
so uh, yeah, just uh, this is for testing purpose so we increase the milliamps to test the signal whether it is okay or not So now we increase to 12 milliamps because we are injecting through multi sorry simulator and it is increasing slowly. See now if I go to the data point you can find all the values also here. See in here you can see 42 and also if you see the flow thresholds uh, this is all DA threshold 1 to 3 and Here if you see you can find all the values what you configured in the data points you can see all the values also if you see daily volumes you have 36 and if you go minimum daily flow is 0 and maximum flow is 39 and also you can find the signal strengths example reception level it's showing 99 and also SCADA configuration counters like how much time it's communicated to the SCADA system it is showing 0 and energy consumptions it is showing 1058 and remaining battery life it's 3563563 3, days number of days huh? so this will be reduced based on your if you connected your device with uh, uh, low powered with this device it will reduce very fast but if you are not connected with the loop powered and this data logger is used only for uh, uh, signaling uh, without uh, power with uh, third party devices then it will become at least 5 to 10 years 5 years and 10 years based on your battery life which one you are using and if you see the internal temperature you can find here 22 degree and number of communication sent per day it's true so you can find all the details here and if you See here now we simulated again some values 16 milliamps now currently and if you see here there's another one the sensor is point and now I am minimizing and I am checking the configuration of the data logger and if you see here we configured for the first one it's okay and second one if I see here it's showing that CPR sensor this is software sensors but uh, really in real field we are not connecting this uh, sensor so what we are going to do now we will cancel and just close this button pop up and uh, see here you have many options not use cnpr 16 bar cpr 10 bar cpr 20 bar and other sensors okay so you are you are going to use the other sensors no so i am going to select other sensors and you are you have your your option sensor supply 12 volt and you have other options called 20 volt and also you can you can, you need to be select which one you need for your uh, connections like no power supply because you are connected with that uh, third party power supply like uh, external 24 volt so you no need to give your power supply no power supply you need to select Otherwise, it has to give 12 or 20 volt. It will take from the battery of the software itself, data log of software itself. So, from my situation, I will uh, I will give as no power supply, and the maximum range I will keep 16, and the offset I will keep zero. This uh, sensor fault after the uh, this transmission to SCADA on status change. In case if your status is changing, and you have to select that one, then it will transmit to the SCADA system. So I will keep this one as default. And give OK. And now we will, uh, we will go to communication before that. Just save the 
data logger configuration and close the uh, pop-up and again connect to this device because it will not uh, show the value because it will show the old value so what you need to do you need to close the application like disconnect the connection and again reconnect after the reconnect time it will ask you that this is different uh, the version and uh, the configuration is totally differ so you need to be again re-download the application yes i will give you from pc2 so uh, data configuration so it is downloading now once it's down transfer the files and it will show you that it's already right into the data logger and see this yellow color it's disabled so now again you can connect and go to the uh, click button okay and you can see the value again and now you can see for the second first one still it is showing 16 milliamps but we already configured for the second AI. So you need to ch recheck the wiring. Maybe sometimes the wiring is not correct. So you need to double check the wiring and configured or plus to minus it's changed. So you can change the wirings. After that, you can find the reading exactly. Before that, we can go to the other sections like uh, in the left side panel. You can see installation data points we already checked. Now you just double click the exceptions. If you see the exceptions, you can find some of them like a periodic transmission to PC. It is one hour and period is five minutes and recipient is scheda number one. Okay, if you give player a run, it will send the data immediately and uh, this is for testing purpose and main periodic executions you can see here like duration one day period is five minutes and meter and average flow is duration one day and period is five minutes so if you need to send the data for testing you can apply here run or there is stop and run button so you can press and you can see that that details also and if you go for SCADA communications double click the SCADA communication and here you can see what is exactly it's happening because currently we don't have SIM card so it is showing SIM card is missing modem is not registered if it's connected everything you can see all the data if you go for power management you can see the battery life see still we have three five six three days remaining and total operating time is 23 hours and you can see the communication wake up uh, total 25 and how much time it's uh, trying to send the SMS and the, everything you can see here and also how much time you awake the data logger through your ma magnets you can see this one activation key on 50 example total you can use 50 per day and uh, 50 times we used and uh, analog inputs you can see the measurement 2160 and duration is 8 hours sorry 8 minutes huh? so you can check all the detail here for the power management uh, and this is for power management if you go for maintenance you can find here all the logs what is happening currently and the example sim card is missing disappearance of data all the sensors like there is some sensor faults and everything you can find here through this log and uh, and also you can see downside reset all the saved data delete the data delete the data and configurations everything you have all the options here in the downside so you can check what you need and you can uh, try to check uh, all the logs here and if you go for follow-up you can even if you have something if you write you can check maybe example some commands like this from follow-up and now still the uh, second analog is not connected we are trying again to connect with the second one before that you can see the reception level now i'm see here there is two option in immediate and delayed so if you press that one if you have if you connected with sim card it will show you the signal strengths and also for the mobile communication currently you don't have mobile number 
and if you enter some mobile number and if you test it will send the sms to that particular uh, mobile uh, mobile and if you see the inter rtu if you connected between the two rtus like example the software data logger is connected with some rtus you can see the data here like through the apm or with the site and for the scada communication at the last one you can find the scada value before that you can see the ai2 see now it is currently 16 milliamps because we are we connected the signals so it is showing you as 50 milliamps and the first one we already removed and we connected with the second one so you are seeing some values and we removed the cables now and uh, for, see you can see all the details in installations and for the data points you can see all the data and also for the communication you see now the SCADA communication test you can make the test from here itself if you make the test it will show you the real value thank you for watching this video if you like this video kindly press the like button and subscribe to this channel and also share to your network thank you